Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to check fresh release from Brand Gun. So this is an aircraft kit, as you can see it's a helicopter in 148 scale, but it's not a simple helicopter because it copies drone, so unmanned fine vehicle and as you can see it's MQ8C Fire X. So again it's 148 scale kit and we have a commercial sample here so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you'll see in this video review. But as in the previous video review I would like to remind you that we really need your help in order to get the new PC and some of you already donated and I'm reminding once again that you can do it easily with help of support button on our website and it is done via PayPal so it should be quick and safe and for each donation higher than 30 US dollars I will be sending special surprise some of you already have them on the way they are sent out so keep be on the lookout I would say so here we have this commercial sample it's a small box here you can see comparison with my hand but it's quite heavy because it's a resin kit it's not a plastic kit and we are going to open it together as you can see there is nothing on the opposite sides I won't be rotating it too much because again that's a resin kit it's quite tender and here we have this sticker seal so that's why I'll use a sharp knife in order to open it with just cutting this sticker through and that's pretty much all we need now we can open it and see what is hidden inside. So here is the whole component set and there are some parts 3D printed and even some metal parts surprisingly. So it will be interesting to see them closer. Nevertheless first we are going to start with these resin parts. So first of all I would like to show you the biggest and the heaviest part here and it is full of resin flesh just give me a second to clean it up a bit because it's just extra bits and it's nothing serious it just needs some cleaning that's why you have to be careful with resin parts as some uh, books and magazines write because you can easily uh, breathe in this dust and then it will be not that good time so here we have the one piece fuselage and as you can see all doors are molded shut obviously and of course there are no clear parts on the drone so that's why we have them also pre-molded out of resin and overall custom quality looks fine as you can see we have resin base only here in the tail section so it should be relatively easy to separate everything and we have recessed panel lines they're not that deep obviously so be careful in order not to lose them on your model because then it will be really difficult to rescribe them in more or less precise fashion but other than that I don't see any possible issues with this part so we can move on to the next component and this next reason parts there are mainly small parts especially while compared with what we saw before because we have only small bits left out as a separate parts. So first of all here we have tail fin as you can see it is molded as a single piece part and we have this attachment point right on the leading edge. I'm not sure why it was done like this. Maybe in order to preserve this uh, thin edge on the tail section but you have to be careful while separating this bit. Next we go on with parts for the engine. So here we have some parts for the um, rotor and also for the engine air intake. Again they look quite nice. As for the propeller blades we have them separate just like this so there should be four of them so I'm trying to find more of them here you can see them and of course they feature um, some no actually there is almost no second as you can see here so it's just a thin profile and if you would like to get sagging on these blades I guess you will have to work with hot water, maybe with some temperature bending, but I'm not sure if it's really needed on such model. Here we continue with tail section parts, as you can see these are also promoted as a single piece parts. We have special positioning elements here on the inner side, so it will be easier to align them together and here you can see them from the opposite side. Okay. Next we have this part and frankly speaking I'm not sure where it will be used. 
So we will have to check assembly manual. Maybe it is some template for something, maybe something else. So we will check it later in assembly manual, as I said before. Here we have this uh, separate block for or turret for the nose section. So as you can see, it's molded as one piece uh, resin bowl. And it should be easy to install on the nose section. Next, we have tail, which is molded as a separate part and as you remember fuse wedge was molded without it so you will have to attach it to the fuse wedge and all the tail section here parts they will have to be installed separately as well we have rear rotor molded as a single piece part so it doesn't mean that you have or actually it does mean that you won't have to deal with separate blades in the tail section next we have also skis so ending skis they're molded as a single piece parts we have special guiding elements here for easier installation and as you can see attachment point is from the lower point so it should be easier to separate and even if you damage something it will be less visible Next we go on with thin parts, frankly speaking I'm not sure where they will be used, maybe it is some kind of antennas which will be installed on this helicopter, we will see it in assembly manual. And one more again, really tiny beads, here you can see them. And you can notice that they are smaller than my fingertip, so keep it in mind, it might be worth getting sharp tweezers in order to carefully separate this stuff. Now I'm trying to find my debonder because here we have paper clips and unfortunately I do not see debonder. Just give me a second. Okay, it was hidden inside in my table. So here is this plastic bag with metal parts and 3D printed part, that's why I need Debonder in order to remove staple. Okay. So here we have two metal parts, and frankly speaking, I'm still not sure where they will be used. So here they are, and these are quite thin rods, so it will be interesting where they will go. And next, we have 3D printed part, from what I can understand. So this part which will be used for the main rotor and as you can see it is quite complex shaped. So I guess it was interesting to see how it will be implemented with 3D printing. It is quite light by the way. Next we have another plastic bag, so here it is. It is dedicated to decals and PE threads, so I will open it in a second. So it's a, I would say, multimedia kit in its full understanding because we have almost all materials, maybe just only the plastic is not included here. So here is the unpainted P thread, it will be used for external detailing obviously and I would say it's a typical product for brain guns so there are no unusual surprises here. And next we go on with decals sheet, so this one is printed in quite nice quality, I'm not sure how many marking options there, it is also printed in assembly manual, so we'll check it and understand how many markings are supplied with this kit. So assembly manual is printed in form of black and white brochure, so we can zoom out a bit. Here on the first page you can see a short history note in English language and also parts map. And yeah, as you can see it's undercarriage template, so it will be used for undercarriage legs, which will be holding skis as far as you can understand. And next we go on with assembly process. So first of all everything starts with tail section, then gradually we move on to the main fuselage and that's where you use this template in order to bend these metal parts. This ones. It's really unusual I would say design because maybe it could have been easier to use just a pre-shaped resin parts but manufacturer decided to use metal parts so that they can support the heavy weight of the a finished resin model. Next we continue with no section here and also tail rotor here, a lot of PE parts for the main rotor by the way. Here we continue with um, extra PE parts for external detailing 
and the same goes for the lower section as you can see various hatches will be replicated with the help of separate P parts as you remember they are unpainted so don't be worried they can be easily covered in a necessary shade and on the last page we have black and white marking guide so as, you can, as far as you can see there are two marking options maybe it is also possible to vary them if you have some um, I would say reference guides or reference photos but it's a relatively new vehicle let's say so maybe that's why there are not that many marking options and it is painted in this typical grayish color so of course I will be happy to hear your opinion about this kit write it here in the comment section below if you like this video don't forget to press the like button subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will see you in the next video review as usual thank you for joining me today and bye